Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here. Now, if you have a relatively recent iPhone, e.g. one running iOS version 11 or later, you may have noticed something strange about the images that it takes. They're not JPEGs, but instead have a file extension of HEIC. What's that all about? HEIC is basically Apple's version of the High Efficiency Image File Format, or HEIF for short. This is a modern image compression standard which improves upon the aging JPEG format in several ways. Firstly, it's more efficient. HEIF files are often half the size of the equivalent JPEG and yet they have the same, or even better, image quality. They can also be more colourful. JPEGs can contain up to 16.7 million colours, while HEIF theoretically supports 281 trillion. But of course, there are downsides, and one of them is compatibility. Mac OS, High Sierra and later versions have native support for the new format, but Windows is a bit more hit and miss. For instance, as of when I'm making this video, you can't open a HEIF or HEIC file in the latest version of Photoshop on Windows 10. Many other programs, especially older ones, will also refuse to work with this format, so what can you do? Well, to convert your existing pictures, you can download a program called Copy Trans HEIC for Windows, which is a free program for personal use. You can find the download link in the description of this video. After installing it, just select the files that you want to convert, right click on them, and click Convert to JPEG with Copy Trans. It's as easy as that. The good thing about this program is that the converted JPEG retains the original resolution and most of the original quality of the HEIC. And now, of course, you can edit photos to your heart's content. But what if you don't want to go through the process of converting all the images that you take with your phone? You can actually make iOS take JPEGs by default, and here's how. First, go into the Settings app. Scroll down until you find the Camera Settings and go into that. And then, go into the Format section. Now, you can choose to take your photos in the most compatible format, which we all know is JPEG. Of course, knowing Apple, they might remove this setting in a future version of iOS, but at least it's still there at the moment. Hey, I'm Handy Andy, and thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more tech tips.